Thanks for joining me today. My name is David Alexander with Alexander Open Systems Portal Practice. And uh, today we're going to talk about SharePoint 2010, uh, specifically around the HR department. Uh, some of you may have seen my other demos. Uh, this is the same site that I have been using uh, for this series. Uh, but today we will uh, stay within this HR tab. One of the first things that may pop out to you is that we have uh, provided some integration uh, with our, our payroll system. And so we have a nice uh, web part over here to the right that tells me how many vacation days that I have uh, accrued uh, up, in, up until this date. And so right now I've got eight vacation days. You know what, that makes that puts me in a pretty good mood. Uh, maybe I can fly off to Florida for a few days. Uh, you know, it's always nice to take a little bit of break. But the reason I actually came here today is because I had some questions about uh, my paycheck and some of the numbers that were on it. Uh, I didn't fully understand uh, the way the layout was. And so uh, we use Payocity. And uh, and so I actually see here in the announcements immediately that quick login instructions. So I can see if I was having problems logging in, HR has already provided some instructions here, which is really nice. I have no problems logging in. Um, I just have some problems uh, understanding what all the numbers were. Um, right now I don't have any forms I need to fill out or anything and so I'm just gonna go over here and they told me to come to the wiki so I'm gonna go over here to the wiki uh, let's see what they provided here this is what I'm looking for so let's look at these at this paycheck let's see how this is okay alright so now I'm seeing here okay so number five over here we've got some allowances and exemptions okay now I have a better understanding of of why this was taken out and uh, and I was able to get my answer uh, through this wiki but let's bounce back over to this HR page because you know what sometimes uh, you know you're coming here to actually get information so we do have the announcements over here on the right hand side we have the HR calendar this HR calendar uh, just like in the first demo this does pull up to the home page and so uh, it, underneath the corporate calendar so everything in the marketing calendar everything on the HR calendar rolls up and uh, when you first log into t for your day underneath the corporate calendar all those events are going to be uh, in, in that corporate view uh, we also have a second view over here uh, since we don't have any events right now uh, it is empty, but this is more of a list item view instead of the uh, traditional calendar view. Underneath that, we have a uh, list of applications. Uh, very easy for, for any of the end users to be able to click on this. Uh, you know, Payocity, as I said, is, is our payroll provider right now, so I can very easily get to this from my HR page if I couldn't remember uh, who, we use, who, who we used. We do have, uh, you know, the traditional forms. So how do people usually uh, handle forms? Well, it's through PDFs or Word documents, and so... Here we go, AOS forms, we've got them up there. We've got the I-9, expense reports, all those different things, incident requests. And then we've got just information and documents that we think that you should know. So employee handbook, uh, when it's been updated, uh, and on all those different uh, documents. <clears throat> so let's just scroll up here. Uh, I've got eight vacation days. Uh, that's wonderful. Let me come up here. I'm going to go over here to my PTO requests. And from this, I'm going to see all my PT requests, and I have been really busy. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new item. From this, I'm going to take next week off. So let's take uh, the 7th through the 11th off. I think I'm going to head out to Florida. This is uh, for PTO, some, uh, get some sun rays. And, uh, and so I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to hit submit. So what has happened is uh, is that SharePoint has sent out an email to me saying that I have uh, successfully submitted for PTO. To ease of this demo, I've made myself the approver, so I'm going to go down here, and uh, I also got sent an email saying uh, I've got a, a approval request out there, and it was submitted by uh, by David Alexander here. And I can click on this, and then I can go up there, and I can click to uh, approve or deny. What I see is that it has been uh, completed. It has been been approved. I also would get an email saying, "Hey, uh, Dave, uh, uh, your PTO has been approved." So it's just a fully integrated system uh, where everything's tracked. Depending on who logs into this, they're only going to see the request. As you can see, I don't see any of the other test uh, uh, demo users' uh, accounts up here. I only see my own. So thanks for joining me today. 
just wanted to do a quick uh, demonstration of an HR page uh, and show some custom functionality like this, a vacation available, and also how to how to do a uh, InfoPath form for a pretty simple task as far as uh, requesting for some time off. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you have any questions, you always can reach me at david.alexander at aos5.com.